Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to download a report from a report server to local folder by using a report manager. So think about a scenario where you have deployed or somebody has deployed the report to the report server but they never save to the any folder on the local machine or they haven't saved to the team foundation server or any other versioning control. So the reports are only available or one report is only available to the report server. You have to download and make some changes. First of all, we need to open the report server by using a report manager so we can manage or download. Go to search and here we'll say SQL server reporting. This one I am running on my local to find out the report manager URL. So in this case or report server URL. So if you need to get on your dev or your T machine or anywhere you have to remote and then run this one. Once you run this one and it's called the reporting services configuration manager you have to select your report server instance. In my case I have only one instance so I'm going to connect that with that one and then I will be going to the report manager URL. So I will get that URL and if you have that URL already given by your DBA you do not need to come to the reports, uh, reporting services configuration manager. So it depends uh, if it is provided uh, you don't need to waste time to come here and find out URL as you have. Now in the report uh, dev reports uh, I have different uh, reports uh, sitting uh, here. One of the report called auto refresh. So if we click on the auto refresh, let's see how the report look like. And as you can see that report looks fine, but we do not have title for this report. And that's why we would like to download this report, modify and push it back to the report server. So let's go to the dev reports again. And uh, one more thing I would like to show you actually where I have more than one report. Okay, so we will download the report though anyways, but I will show you a few things here. If you see here, we have to click here and then go to the download. So it will download that report. Fine, it will ask us you want to save where, open or whatever. So we will choose those different options. But if I would like to download multiple reports, what are my options? So even I go to the detail view and now I click on both of the reports. Then I come back to the one and say download it is going to download only one even I have checked for both of them so if you see here it is asking do you want to open or save toggle report contents dot rdl it's not going for the tooltip uh, it is not uh, giving us that information if I will go ahead and save it and see like okay it did save two of them or one of them so I can go open folder and here I see that there is only one report that is saved. So you do not have a direct way to download multiple reports from report manager. There are programs such as you can use a uh, T-SQL to download these reports or you can use PowerShell to download these reports. I might go back and uh, create uh, one video on that part as well or write a blog and post on the website so you can use that uh, software but you can google and there are plenty of people who has written uh, how to download multiple reports from report manager or report server so actually these reports are saved in the reporting database so uh, it's pretty um, easy to write a SQL and get them out and um, I, I have used the SQL to uh, get those multiple reports out from the report server. So and uh, right here our goal is to download one report. So I'm going to go back to the dev reports and then let's go to the auto refresh and download. Let's download this report, save. You can select the folder where you want to save. I'm just downloading to the uh, download folder. So it is called auto refresh. The next part you need to open your bids or SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and then create SSRS project. I already have SSRS project created. Now I'm going to go back and just copy that RDL. Right click, copy and come back here in the SSDT. Click on reports and then if you see 
I can right click and there is no paste option right here. So I just click on the reports here anywhere and then say control V and the report will be written there. So it is asking, okay, you already have a report. Do you want to override it? Click okay. Yes. If you don't want to do it, rename your existing one and then modify, uh, get the new one. So the file has been modified outside of the source editor. Do you want to reload? Yes to all. So in my case, it was already there. So it, I overwrite this one. So let's uh, check that auto refresh report. Once you open it, this is how you will see. And uh, then you can go into the data sets, figure out. Uh, and here, let's say we want to insert our title. And I'm going to call this one sales report or dashboard report sales report. Now this is done here. And then let's uh, give some background color all good preview the report and now we have the title here go to design again and i recommend from now you go ahead and take the uh, backup of this rdl and put into the tfs don't do the other uh, developer has done that the same way like okay i created the report i'm going to deploy to the server and that's all so i recommend taking backup and uh, place in somewhere so other developers can take uh, this copy anytime and make uh, changes so let's build uh, here and uh, you can copy to anywhere wherever you want to do it and I'm going to take this report and put back to the report server so you can see how we deploy this report. So we came to design, go to reports, go to properties. Click here. Let's see. Here is the path where the report file should be. So I'm copying this one. Go to the run. I always end up doing more things than what I plan to do in the video sometime. And uh, I feel like uh, it's helpful. For the people who are learning first time and that really helped them so from bin and debug i'm gonna take auto refresh here so we have this auto refresh here we just modified it you can see the time uh, 9 26 a.m on 9 27 so we have this is the latest one i'm gonna copy the uh, this folder path and go to the report server again and here i'm gonna upload so i will browse and provide the path so that's the same path and now I have to select uh, the auto one so I click here play, press a auto refresh open and overwrite uh, item if it ex exists if it exists so if I do not do that it is gonna give me error because there is already report that's existing there so I have to overwrite it so I'm gonna go ahead and overwrite it this time to refresh override this one if you would like to just uh, keep a copy of the old one you can do that we, you can rename that one and uh, then bring the new one uh, in this case uh, or in that way you would have two reports uh, once you are done with the finalizing okay um, they look good and uh, my changes are fine and then you can delete the old one I have done a video how to rename folders and all those kind of things. You can take a look on that one. Now, once you deploy the report, the time for that last modified date does change. So that also tells you like what time it was deployed. So if we refresh or preview the report right now, we see the title is there. So that's how you will take or download the report from your report server by using report manager and then make modification and redeploy uh, in the uh, report manager web interface thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in next video